Hi everyone, it's Nicole. Welcome back to my channel and today we are celebrating the Simon Says Stamp latest release called Holiday Sparkle with a Build-A-Deer Christmas card and matching envelope. I absolutely love this adorable little deer from the release. Plus I'm using lots of other new products as well as some things from my stash. We are going to start with this new embossing folder from the Holiday Sparkle release called Graceful Holly. I'm also going to use the Reindeer Parts dies and stencil and we're going to be using, I didn't show it, but the Believe Hot Foil Plate, which is my absolute favorite sentiment from Simon Says Stamp from a few years ago and it coordinates with the die. So I am spritzing a four by five and a quarter inch panel of craft cardstock really, really lightly on both sides with a mini mister, just a little water from a mini mister. And then I am embossing it with this wonderful, graceful Holly embossing folder. The water helps give a super, really nice, crisp impression. And I did do a couple just in case I messed up. And now I'll have one left over for something else. I'm going to use some of Tim Holtz's Distress Crayons to color the embossed areas. Now it's not gonna be super precise coloring or anything like that. Maybe if you wanted to use the watercolor uh, pencils or color it with another coloring medium like a marker, you're gonna get a little bit more of a precise type background. but. I absolutely love how this ends up looking. So I did go in, these are the Holiday Distress Crayon Trio, and this is Fresh Balsam. So I'm gonna be using a Fresh Balsam and Tart Cranberry from this. And then I do have last year's crayons, and I'm gonna use some Tree Lot, but just a nice deep dark green, because I don't think this particular trio is available. So just grab another Distress Crayon in a green color for layering, and I will show that last. So I decided to go ahead and go through with Fresh Balsam, and I'm just kind of laying the color on the embossed area and rubbing it in with the tip of my finger. And I'm gonna do all of Fresh Balsam first. And then we're gonna go in and do Tart Cranberry. Now, if I had decided to use Tree Lot before, I would have done Tree Lot before, but um, kind of that breaks my rule of trying to do red last because red tends to be the messiest, but I absolutely love how this background turns out, especially on the craft as opposed to a white, it really adds a nice little bit of interest there. So yes, some of the green rubs off onto the craft background, but I think it just really adds loads of interest to, to this. And it's a very quick and easy way to apply color. So I am simply going in with Tarte Cranberry now, and the red truly does add the kind of pop, I would say to this. Fresh Balsam is a little bit of I kind of call it a gold green. It has a really pretty shim goldish shimmer. Well, they all have a little shimmer to them, but a kind of a gold undertone, I guess, if you will, to the green. And it's a little bit lighter. And that's why I am gonna go in with a darker green color. And again, I'm using, if you have last year's Distress Crayons, the 2021 Crayons Tree Lot color, um, I don't know all the names of the green colors out, but Tim has lots and lots of different distress crayons. So I would just grab something a little bit darker to layer on if you're wanting to do something similar and you don't have tree lot. So there is the red. And again, yes, a little bit messy, but I promise stick with me. It's going to look good. It's so shimmery and pretty. You could even do some white splatter if you wanted to. I opted not to today, but I think that would be fun as well. Here's my tree lot color. I'm gonna just add little dabs of it and then kind of try to carefully buff that in. And that is a really good representation of how it looks. Um, on the left side, it's still light. On the right, I've kind of shaded it with some darker color. And I love, love, love it. 
So this is what we're going to start with. The rest is basically a little die cutting, a little building of a cute little reindeer, and then we're going to do a little foiling as well. And I'm going to share a couple of little tips about foiling um, if you're not getting a super great impression with your regular sandwich for your foiling machine. Now I did notice after I did my darker green color, some of my berries were a little too green. So I did go back with tart cranberry and I added a little extra color over a few of those areas to make sure that they were red. Um, I definitely wanted those to be a nice red. I love that little pop of red in the background and against the craft cardstock. Oh my goodness, you guys, it's so, so pretty. Now I am going to start heating up my Glimmer hot foil system. It does need to heat up for just a little bit. And I am going to take the new Believe die. And as I was mentioning a little earlier in the video, this coordinates back to one of Simon Says Stamps most popular sentiments I think ever. I don't think the stamp set that this coordinates with is available anymore. I don't think, but there is a die and it's the die that, that you can cut believe and then like the map that goes around it. And of course the map that goes around it is going to work with our sentiment here, which I love. So I foiled believe with red foil. I will tell you, I ended up having to add an extra cardstock shim to my sandwich to get a good impression. It's probably my machine. I have noticed that it's not working quite as great as it used to, um, but I do have like the original, uh, glimmer machine. However, adding that additional shim layer, which I think I maybe had two to three shims in there, worked perfectly. I did have a little over foiling, but that's okay. Now I am going to die cut the reindeer parts. I thought I would use the new velvet luxury cardstock for the brown for my deer, but it just wasn't quite as dark as what I wanted. So I did end up die cutting the deer from some chocolate bar Lawn Fawn cardstock, but the antlers and the nose are die cut from the velvet cardstock. Oh my goodness, you guys, this velvet cardstock is so dreamy. It cuts amazing and it's going to add just the most beautiful texture. I'm even going to use it here in a minute to die cut some little holly leaves. I am adding a little bit of the Mocha Simon Says Stamp Positively Saturated Ink around the edges of my chocolate bar deer face um, to deepen and darken those edges just a little bit. And what I wanna do is I'm gonna have my little reindeer peeking out from behind the Believe Sentiment on my card. Look how cute he looks against our craft background with the Distress Crayon on the embossed areas. It really gives it more the look of a pattern paper background, which I love with a big, bold die cut, a bold uh, foiled and die cut sentiment. And I will be adding a little sentiment strip because I just can't stop myself. I did die cut the eyes from the luxury velvet cardstock too, but ultimately I knew I should have just stuck with my original idea. I'm going to use pearls for the eyes because anytime I can add a fun little embellishment of some sort, I'm going to. Now I did use a four by five and a quarter inch panel of craft cardstock when I embossed, meaning we're going to have a nice white border all the way around. I thought that was important for this card so that the white really ties into the white of the outline of the Believe as well as the white antlers. I'm going to back my Believe Sentiment with foam adhesive squares. These are the Simon Says Stamp foam adhesive squares. And we're just gonna simply um, kind of fit these on here. I may cut up some of the foam squares to fit. And we're going to place this down along kind of that bottom third of our background panel. And here I'm just snipping some of those small squares in half to go around some of the more delicate small parts of my greeting. I'll peel off all of the backing paper and then pop this in place. And I'm not gonna press it down super hard yet because I do need to add my little Rudolph and I want to tuck him kind of over to the side. You could do him right in the center as well, but I thought over to the side was kind of cute and fun. And I'm gonna go ahead and use liquid adhesive all over the back 
so that he makes sure and stays put. And I'm gonna tip his little face right there along the bottom. And then the velvet nose, it's the velvet nose for me, you guys. I love it. It adds so much texture. And then, of course, we've got little uh, luxury velvet antlers in white. Now, as cute as this is, I, and as cute as I, it is just like this, um, I, I almost knew from doing the background that I was going to go ahead and grab my favorite um, Hero Arts Hug in a Mug set. It's a stamp die combo because it has my favorite little holly leaves and berry dies in it. And I'm only going to use the leaves, but I will add those here in a minute. There I was adding the black gems. Here is the cute little holly leaves out of that luxury green velvet cardstock. Perfect. I'm going to glue that down in place just like up around his antlers. Oh my gosh, there you can really see the texture. Isn't it beautiful? And instead of die cutting the berries, I am just going to replace those with a little uh, red, some little red pearls from Pretty Pink Posh. These are the cherry red. They're my favorite. Can't even tell you how many bags of these I've gone through because I use them on absolutely everything. But the addition of the black larger pearls or baubles for the eyes and then these little teeny tiny ones for the berries add to the overall interest to the card without adding tons and tons of dimension. Now we still need to do a couple of things and for me when I have a large sentiment it's super cute like this but I love a little sentiment strip underneath. So I went to my stash and I found my favorite tiny words Christmas sentiment set from Simon Says Stamp and I'm going to stamp May Your Christmas Dreams Come True using VersaFine Onyx Black Ink. I'm going to die cut this with another favorite product, the Sentiment Labels dies from Simon Says Stamp. I am using my Hero Arts Compact Cutter for a lot of these small little pieces. I've been using it a ton lately, mostly because it's just so handy. Anytime I have something that's small enough, about three inches wide is about as far or as big as you can do. But if, if you can do that, it's just so handy. It's so lightweight and so compact as it says, and it works fantastic. So I'm gonna flip my sentiment around and just cut that other end to finish off my strip. We're going to back it with some foam adhesive squares and pop it up right underneath the Believe Sentiment. To me, this just gives a very complete card. And I know I mentioned it already, but with a larger die cut sentiment or die cut and foiled in the, as in this case, I love a little sentiment strip. I just feel like it finishes it off. I'm gonna scooch it up there just a little bit so that it buddies up with the Believe and that looks so, so cute. Now, I felt like my card needed a little heart, so I do have this tiny little heart that I'm gonna replace there on the eye. And oh my goodness, you guys, it's so, so cute. I am loving this card design. I did take a white jelly roll pen and add just a tiny bit of detail um, to like the ears and the nose, which I think I'll do here in a minute. Now, in this release, there also is the Reindeer Parts stencil, layering stencil. So of course, this is the perfect opportunity to create a coordinating envelope, don't you guys think? It all comes on this little tiny piece here. You get the masks and everything. So I'm popping things out. I am gonna use the tonic magnetic mat to help hold things in place. I've got a white Simon Says Stamp envelope here and I'm just gonna ink up the nose first with some cherry positively saturated ink. I wish I would have used my ma some masking tape, but I didn't. I'm going to after I move this because I see I have a little line of red, but I think it'll get covered up with the with the brown, so I'm not gonna worry about it, but I make a huge blunder here in a minute, and I'm gonna show you how I fix it instead of having to start over. Now, I think I probably should have wiped off my stencil before taking it back to my envelope with that red because trying to avoid the red was where I got into trouble. This is some cappuccino ink, and I did put the nose mask right there in place. You could also 
go ahead and ink the face and then try to ink the nose right over top. Um, I didn't do that, so I'm not exactly sure how well it would work, but I had briefly considered it, so I may try it again on another card or envelope here one of these days. After I've done cappuccino, I'm going to grab some mocha and go around the some of the edges to deepen and darken the reindeer face just a little bit. And I am going to grab a little bit of post-it tape to be smarter, but I wasn't smart enough. That's, that's what I'm trying to say. Because over here where the nose is, I totally should have masked. You can even see that I got ink all over. So I made a little bit of a mess. I am going to take a sand eraser and I am just going to erase, erase, erase. And I did it right away. And honestly, I can't believe it worked. I was prepared to start over and I didn't have to. So let me run over to the trash can and knock all of that, the little eraser marks over there. But I do think before I bring my stencil back to my, my envelope, I think I should probably wipe it off real quick so that I don't have that happen again. I just put a little stamp cleaner on my microfiber cloth and cleaned it up really well, dried it off really well. And then I'm gonna take the antler and I am going to do that twice with some latte ink. I mean, how cute is this envelope? I would love if I got this in the mail. For whatever reason, decorative, uh, envelopes are just something that makes me grin. I I love it. I think they're super, super fun. So there's the first one. Let's go ahead and add the second one. I'm not being quite as careful here because I'm using very little bit of ink, whatever's left on my brown blending brush. And then for the eyes, I am going to use some charcoal ink right over the top. And I will mask this off because if we get charcoal all over everything, it, it probably will require starting over. And then, of course, we will remove that and look at our cute little envelope. Just like that, we have a perfectly coordinated envelope to match our reindeer card. Thank you guys so much for joining me today for this Build a Reindeer Christmas card with matching envelope using brand new products from the Simon Says Stamp Holiday Sparkle Release. The supplies I use to create my card and envelope are listed and linked below the video here on YouTube. Here is another video featuring Simon Says Stamp that you might be interested in. I want to give a huge shout out and thank you to my amazing Patreon crew. Thank you guys so very much. If you're interested in joining Patreon, please click the link in the description below. We would love to see you over there as part of our growing community. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel, click the like button, and don't forget to hit the notification bell to always be notified when I have a new card making or paper crafting video. Thank you so much for joining me today and we'll see you next time.